What's up guys and welcome to the Scarge channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to jump higher while gaining weight, you know, putting on size. It is winter, so we are, you know, a lot of us are trying to get bigger. But before you do that, make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so as you can see, I started off with hurdle jumps, I did my normal warm up, I did um, some massage gun, some biking, and then I went into hurdle jumps. I basically did this uh, until I felt warm enough to go into my power clean, so I ended up doing like 6 or 7 sets. And here's the thing about putting on mass and wanting to still jump higher. A lot of people think, okay, I'm going to get bigger, so I have to get stronger, so they only focus on weightlifting and they neglect their sprinting, they stop bounding, they stop doing things like the hurdle jump, so that's why I do the hurdle jumps first. It's not only a great warm up, but you're going to be working the fast twitch and basically moving your own body weight, like perfecting that. So as you can see here, I'm doing power cleans, I'm working up to an eventual one rep max. I was feeling pretty good today. I did have some right knee pain, but I eventually worked through it and eventually when I got up to the heavier weights it didn't hurt anymore, mostly just because I probably was finally getting warm enough so that it wouldn't hurt my joints. But here's 235, hit that for a double. It's kind of like a PR actually. Now I'm going for a 245 PR attempt. It surprisingly went up pretty easy. Um, you really have to focus on all aspects of training while you're bulking if you want to jump higher. So this is a power movement, a very good power movement. Uh, this and the trap bar deadlift I'd say are the best for this sort of raw power and the box squat, box squat jump, those sorts of things. But you have to focus on that while you're getting bigger. You can't just neglect it because you want to get stronger. Obviously, that's just going to come naturally. The more weight you have, the stronger you're going to get. So here's 250. Let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so after the max on the power clean, I did three sets of two for 235 on the power clean. You have to make sure to get your volume in. It's fun to PR all the time, but it's going to be a lot easier to gain size when you're doing a bit more volume. So next I moved on to the banded back squats. These are really good because it focuses um, heavily on, or it translates heavily to jumping because the greater the knee angle, the heavier the weight seems because the band's stretching out and that's going to correlate to basically more peak force at the top which is very similar to when you're jumping. So here I'm doing 295, still warming up. My previous best on this was 315 for two and I have a PR board set up in my garage so I can see what my maxes are and I find that really useful to have because I feel like every week I either add a little bit of weight to boost my PR board up and I've been doing that for the past like three months and I've been honestly I've been making gains like consistently every week and that usually doesn't happen for someone who's been lifting for um, almost I mean with weights for like I don't know six years or so so it's kind of nice
Alright, so here's my 325 PR attempt. Let's see if I can get one rep. Let's go. Moving on, we are going to be working on our single leg strength. This is really important just to make sure you're even out and honestly when you work up to a heavy weight you're putting more force into the ground than you are with the squat. So this, when you do it properly and when you go heavy enough, is going to translate even more to jumping than any squat could, unless you're squatting like a thousand pounds, then it's a different story. But I'm not, so this translates better to jumping. And this is also a really great exercise because it works on your balance. I don't know if I put it in the video, but I was stumbling. I tend to stumble on my, my second or third rep and it just takes a great deal of balance so that's good for basically any sport basketball football especially if like you're a position player running back that sort of thing so just an overall great exercise and you're really gonna feel it in your glutes hamstrings primarily and then some quads so it's honestly great for strength and great for hypertrophy watch out, if you do watch enough reps Alright, so moving on, I have not given up on my calves yet, and honestly, the more calf raises I do, I feel like I'm actually making some progress with, progress with them, so I'm definitely going to keep that up and stick it out. And I find that doing the single leg approach, you don't have to load the bar, and especially at the end of the workout, when I'm tired, I don't feel like loading it. Um, 45 pounds is enough for me to do single leg calf raises and feel the burn. Then next up we have ankle hops. This is really good for ankle stiffness, if you will. And it's just really gonna help you get those extra few inches on your jumps. All right guys, we made it to the end of the workout. I decided to finish off with some tibialis raises because my right knee has been bothering me. So I decided to strengthen the front of my um, shin, you know, the tibialis because I figured it would help the pain a little bit and it has so feeling pretty good so I did two sets of 20 with this and I finished off the workout I took an Epsom salt bath and did some massage gun and I feel like I didn't even hit legs yesterday guys so I highly re recommend uh, the ice bath or Epsom salt bath either one will do but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the workout make sure you like and subscribe and have a great day see ya